Bismillah. Uh, good evening. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. Sorry. Good evening. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you this evening. My name is Marissa Marandola. I'm a constituent in Speaker Mattiello's district, and I am currently a college student. Like many of my peers from Rhode Island, I will face the decision when I graduate next May of whether or not to begin my professional career and to plant my personal roots here in my home state. A part of that decision beyond the opportunities available to me in terms of employment will be the opportunities that will eventually be available for the children I hope to have in the future. And for me, that decision has to include the wide range of options that I will be able to consider as a parent 10, 15, 20 years down the road. I believe that school choice should be a component of that plan. I don't know right now where my income will allow me to make my home in Rhode Island. I don't know if my means will allow me to provide for a private school education for my children. But I will base part of the decision of where to locate myself in the future on the options that I will have in a wide variety of circumstances. I would encourage this committee to consider the um, educational and savings account program as investment in human capital. And to that end, I'd like to share my own educational story with you. I attended LaSalle Academy for high school and was able to do so in part because I received a scholarship that actually amounted to less than the maximum amount allotted for the um, educational savings account of $6,000. The opportunities I had at LaSalle translated into a scholarship that allowed me to attend Boston College, where I'll graduate next May. The opportunities that I had as a result of attending BC translated into a federally funded Truman Scholarship, which will help me to attend graduate school. Should I choose to return to my home state as a college graduate and eventually, hopefully, as a law school graduate, I will bring back the benefit of years of education, years of experience, and a network outside of the state that could possibly leverage into future connections that can help to build our economy. And all of that comes from an investment that totals about or even less than the maximum investment proposed by the Educational Savings Account Bill. I would encourage you to view the legislation in this regard and to consider, given that the average per pupil expenditure for Rhode Island is currently around $14,000, how much benefit the state could accrue over time from an investment of $6,000 per pupil for students who should choose to take advantage of it. Thank you.